Tulsa is amazing. I lived in Edmond all my life, Oklahoma City. I was there for 26 years. Got a degree in journalism and um, did not necessarily want to work for the Daily Oklahoman. Yes. But I did want to work for a large metropolitan daily and I love Oklahoma uh -huh. and wanted to come to Tulsa to work for the Tulsa World. So I did. And that's how I ended up in Tulsa eight years ago. After I worked at the Tulsa World, I went to a local magazine here called Tulsa People. Uh -huh. And my wife was a graphic designer there. There's a lot of culture here that is, it's just cool to live here. It's really, also, I don't want to compare it to Oklahoma City, but Oklahoma City is so spread out. Yes. There's plenty of cool stuff there, but it's like so Each district out. is five miles from the next district. Yes. And here it's it's very concentrated. This has grown organically, like it didn't need a tax initiative. It a couple blocks that way is uh, Guthrie Green. Mm -hmm. And God bless George Kaiser. He is this city's main source of like philanthropic, let's make this city better and cooler. And Guthrie Green, I think, if I'm not mistaken, what we hear right now is coming from there, but it's this public park. Everything that's there is free for anyone to come to. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. There's a big stage and a big sound system. Underneath the, the ground there is, I shouldn't even talk about this because I don't know the science behind it, but <laughs> it's some sort of new fangled way to get energy naturally and it like powers buildings around it it's it's all just so mm -hmm. wonderful in the last year of my life i started a new newspaper in this city which is devoted to shedding light on the amazing contributions to arts and culture that are happening here it's really exciting right now um, I've had people, like even family and friends, visit here. Next month is Tulsa Tough. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to Oklahoma. On the third day of Tulsa Tough, Crybaby Hill is in this neighborhood this way. It's the biggest party. It, it reminds me of, we just went to New Orleans. It reminds me of like a Mardi, it's Tulsa's Mardi Gras. People are gonna start figuring it out, finding out about it. Like people talk about best kept secret. It's not gonna last for very much longer because I feel like people who are in places like Austin are gonna get really tired of the overcrowding and the lack of jobs and the too expensive cost of living. So I hope that when people do start to figure it out, it doesn't become that, where then Tulsa is overcrowded and the cost of living goes up and all the things that happen to Austin, but it's an amazing city. There's really cool things going on here right now.